It's 9 05. I Googled that all these opened at 9. So I'm about to go see if I can get some groceries during this corona pandemic. It's getting real interesting out here. I usually do Instacart, but it seems like that's not too feasible these days because they don't want to deliver until between four and six. And I know the grocery stores are empty because I used to do grocery deliveries. So I wouldn't be able to get anything I wanted anyways. So it's like now or never. Wish me luck. Hopefully they have some food on the shelves. Come on. Y'all finish out with me. Don't forget your bags when you're going to Aldi. It doesn't matter if it says Trader Joe's. Bring them anyway. Number two thing. The coronavirus is going around. Make sure you bring your disinfectant wipes because I've never seen Aldi's offer any. Be ready. Get the most important thing. If you don't want to carry your stuff, definitely bring a quarter. So we need some jelly and we've definitely had this blackberry one before it was really good and i think i also liked it because yeah it had like no fruit toast corn so blackberry sugar pectin xanthan gum citric acid but this was good kind of excited the aisles are looking kind of full except for when we get to the bread section and they put a lemon on it, so. Eh. We got some stuff to work with this week. So if you're gluten free, it's only $1.95, so that's so good. This week, I think I'm gonna make us some, maybe some almond or some walnut browns. What do we need? Eggs, water, butter, and the mix. It's brownies this week. and I decided to get out of line because I'm like, okay, if everybody's in line, that means the store is empty. Now I can shop slow and make sure I didn't miss anything. Tip, don't be in a rush. Clean the basket and then one to clean y'all and put the 
hand sanding on my hand. Okay. Surviving the corona. Come on, grocery shop with Ree. You can't depend on Instacart. You got to get out there and get it. Get these groceries. Because they out, baby. See, the second time I went in line, that was a great idea. It was a great idea for me to whip back around and slow down. Because I did pick up some other things. I got some other creative ideas. And yes, I was able to have a successful grocery trip. Hi guys, okay, now, I'm gonna put this as one video. So you just see me struggling to shop a little bit at Aldi's, a lot of stuff was out, there was a lot of people in there, but I made it through. Um, let's see, I will have inserted a picture of everything I got, so right now I want you guys to comment down below and guess how much money I spent. I will let you know how much money I spent at the end of the video, but don't cheat, don't fast forward, be patient. Give me a guess from the picture, with, from the overview of the groceries, and then watch, and then figure out the number, because it's not that it's not that serious. I'm just trying to get a little interaction going, okay? So I'm a little lethargic because they took all my energy. You know, I had to clean real good, and I had to shop, then I had to socially distance a little bit. It was a little crowded, so I'm trying to calm down, get these groceries show, so I can sit down and relax watch my show and eat i'm hungry let's get into the groceries so this grocery haul is not vegan vegetarian or pescatarian it's all three i'm having we're having one pescatarian meal this week and then the rest are vegetarian and vegan yeah so i picked up a cabbage haven't had cabbage in a while very excited picked up some already cooked shrimp Having this with some broccoli and rice. Probably gonna put a little maple syrup and tamari on the shrimp. That's my plan. Check back in and see. Cheese and fries. Gonna make some black bean burgers this week. Babe loves mangoes. Picked up some organic almond milk. Picked up two kombuchas. Some lemonade and this is the lemonade that's just lemon lemon juice sugar and we got some natural flavors in here but it's not from concentrate that's basically what I was trying to that's what I was getting at okay next back maybe I should turn y'all a little bit I'm trying to like figure out the lighting I it's not too much different I don't know y'all Ring light coming back soon. Oh, that window's distracting. Anyways, picked up some sweet potatoes. We're making some yams this week. Two things of eggs because I like to eat them for breakfast during the week sometimes. And then we have Brenner like three days a week now. And then lately I've been like baking. So I know that's weird. I'm not the baker of the house. So it's weird for me to say, but I've been baking. Got some OJ, not from Concentrate, high pulp. I like my OJ with pulp. What do y'all do? Pulp or no pulp? Is it weird for y'all to have pulp? Is it like too much going on in your mouth? Um, do you like the pulp? I think the pulp is fine. I feel like I'm getting, you know, the whole orange. Okay, I want all that nutrients. Picked up a Caesar salad kit. Gonna have that with a little spaghetti this week. Um, picked up this blueberry fruit spread. I talked about this already previously in the video. We really like this. Um, and like I said, no fructose corn syrup. So you got an Aldi's. Try that. Last bag. <clears throat> picked up some babes, uh, babes, some wavy chips. I forgot what she be eating this with, some kind of dip. And I picked her up some more because I be sneaking in her stash. See, I don't like to buy myself snacks because I do too much. But I like to share with babe, so I replaced them. Okay, I picked up some brioche buns for the veggie burgers, the black bean burgers. Picked myself up some gluten-free bread. 
I've been trying to wash my glue. Though I didn't, they didn't have gluten-free buns, I would have got those. Picked up some gluten-free bread if I want to have toast and avocado toast and stuff like that. Other things, sandwiches. Um, babe asked me to pick her up a healthy cereal. In my opinion, cereals really aren't that healthy just because they are very high in carbs and sometimes sugar. So I did pick her up this organic coconut and chia granola cereal. I love it. It's really good if you add a banana and almond milk. So that's how I'm going to recommend she eat it. And I'll let y'all know what she thinks. It's good though. Y'all should go get it. It's good. Um, pick up some gluten-free tortilla chips. These are really good. And I like to eat them with, um, I like to eat them for a snack with salsa. It's so good. I didn't even use the like salsa. It's so good. Picked up a grapefruit. I haven't had one in a while and I used to eat them all the time. So I was like, throwback. Dang, my head big. Anyways, picked up some Colombian coffee. I just really like Colombian coffee. And I've never had these uh, type of oranges, but sweet and seedless Cara Cara oranges. I like how they were pink inside. And I was like, Oh, I want to try them. So, yeah. Some bananas. Staple. We get bananas all the time. <clears throat> Pick up some garbanzo beans. I want to try to make roasted chickpeas as a snack this week. My mom gave me some veganish chick. No, what was it? Vegan chickenless sea salt that she got from Trader Joe's. So, I want to put that on these and roast them in the air fryer or... Fry them in the air fryer or whatever. Ooh, that's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good snack, basically. Picked up some maple syrup. And these gluten-free brownies. Y'all saw that. And picked up some tomato sauce for the pasta, for the spaghetti. Be sweet. And that's all, folks. That's all. So how much did y'all think it cost? Give y'all another second to guess. Cute Jeopardy music. I spent $77 and four cents on 28 items. And don't y'all know this man that was in front of me at first when I was in line the first time, he was like, um, you need to get some more stuff. I was like, well, I just been taking it one week at a time so far. And then he was like, oh, but yeah, you're eating good stuff. See, I'm eating half good, half bad. I told him it's about balance, but his, his cart was Stepped up. It was stepped up. He had so much stuff. But we not hoarding over here, y'all. We going week by week. And, hey, we just doing our thing. We not hoarding. Period. Even though at Aldi's, <laughs> the way they had a limit on everything, baby, how was you going to hoard? Not at Aldi's. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you want to see. Let me know what other places you want me to try to get groceries from. I mean, give me an interesting place, guys. I mean, I'm trying to figure out if I can get groceries from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or give, give me an interesting place. Like, where would y'all like for me to try to get, like, some pretty healthy groceries from? I'm up for a challenge. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any more. Come on, stay with me. We friends now. <laughs>